Well, well, well. Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Erin the Bookquester. Today I introduce you to this great growling book, The Dragon's Eye by Dugald A. Steer. The first book of the Dragonology Chronicles, though I cannot promise that I will do the book cluster of the second book. Well, this book is about a boy and his sister, whose name is right here. Well, well, their, their name is Daniel and Beatrice Cook, and they certainly don't believe in dragons, at least not at first. The thing is, their father and mother were always away, and they sometimes even missed the summer vacations when, when they were supposed to be spending time with them. And one particularly disappointing summer, their parents said they had an urgent mission and they had to go, and that was disappointing. And... And soon, the Beatrice and Daniel would find out that that Dr. Ernest Drake is not mad. Dragons are real, and they're real, much more real than you really think. They, they, they start to be trained as dragonologists who study and preserve dragons, for dragons are dying out. And right now, there's an evil going on. Ignatius Crook thinks that the dragon's eye, a wonderful treasure that should have, should belong to the dragon master, is, has, has been empty for a long time. Well, Ignatius Crook is an evil person. His father, Egbenzer Crook, was a good person, mind you. He was the long he was the last dragon master. But after he returned his great his great treasure, the sign of the dragon master, the dragon's eye. Ignatius said that it was his heritage. It is a common mistake, but for Ignatius it was much, much more serious. He will do anything to recover that. Recover what is rightfully the next Dragon Masters. And the next Dragon Master is still yet to be chosen. And Dr. Ernest Drake is the most likely person. A series of robberies lead the children into magic and adventure. And will they survive the fiery breath of a dragon and the heart heart wrenching moments? Well, well, who knows? And look at this scene. This is his first encounter with a knuckler. And he is, it is much like a rabbit, as Ernest Drake says, and it cannot fly. <clears throat> it's quite interesting, actually. I have never heard anyone describing of a dragon who lived like a rabbit, hunted rabbits, but still lived like a rabbit, and was very small, and at the very least couldn't fly. Well, I've never heard of that type of dragon. I heard of dragon um, sitting on a gigantic pound of gold. And actually, there are that sort of dragons in there. But the, the top line is there are super interesting dragons in here. The types and variety, varieties of dragons, that makes it feel more real. And there's only one kind of dragon. <laughs> Humph. Oh, come on. Get your creativity open. But this, this leads us into a magical, wide, and species-wide world of dragons. And it's a fun little read. And like always, your bookquester and the bookquester.